everyone, it's Rachel here and we are going to do the 100 day project and we are going to visit uh, Wendy's envelope flips. Now she did a few um, variations of them. She uh, also did them, she did them like with using two envelopes um, and doing double flips and then she's done one that was a single flip and I wanted to do the one with the single flip and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim my envelope about there and then this is going to be here oh, that's crooked because that's where i cut it off when i opened the thing i'm going to have my flip there and that's going to flip out that is going to be it that's it got it now where did i open this? oh that one i opened properly so we'll trim this one down we'll do two maybe we'll do two one 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 way and one the other way Oh, my tummy's rumbling. I haven't had any breakfast today. Okay, so that's going to go that way and that's going to go that way. Right, so now we need to cover up um, the envelope. So first of all, I need to deal with this bit in here because it's very un uninteresting. So I might open that there. I'll glue it back down. Let's see if I can open it without ripping it. Open that there so then I can, I might open this here as well. They're not glued very well. Okay, so that way I can, excuse me, cover this bit here. And there I'm just going to glue down, I think some book page will just get cracking because otherwise it'd take a long time. Got this lovely book page here. I'll use some of this. Very fragile paper, this one. So if I put that, I'll glue that in there. Let's take that bit off. Look, it just cracks. Okay, I'll carefully glue that in. And that is going to deal, you'll have that little bit. Well, actually, I could, no, you'll have that little bit there. I'm just going to glue it there and not worry that you'll be able to see the more plain bit and then i'll put my envelope back together so this one i'll do with this book page but there was a hair on there and doing a nice big piece like that, you don't have to worry that you're going to, you know, where am, where do I glue that for it to, to fit. This I'm going to glue, okay, I'll grab this glue here. I'm going to glue it down over. To there. And then I'm going to glue this. Okay. And that has resolved the inside. Let's just put this back on top there. So I remember that that's going like that. And now let's look at this one. Uh, now this one, what I could do, again I need to open it very carefully. Okay, this one I'm going to put something here. Let's see what I've got flying around on my table. I did have some little um, botanical pieces left over from something, but I don't know where I've put them. Oh, tummy, be quiet. It's rumbling away. Rumble, rumble. I've got some acetate there. We'll move that. It's just a plastic bag. Let's just see what I've got here in my leftovers. we go I was thinking this I'm gonna glue that there but I here at this with this in this case I'm gonna to have to be very careful that I glue it in the right spot so let's see I slide it up a little bit 
So how is everyone today? I didn't ask you that. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do now... <laughs> did that, that sounded funny. I said, how is everyone today? And it's like you answered me and I said, okay, good. I mean, okay, good. I've got that in the right spot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. Right. If I put in my marking there, I know where to put it. Okay. And now we can close up this one. Oh, got a bit of glue there. We don't want that. Okay. And again, I'm going to fold this on the outside. It was inside before, but I'm folding it outside now. Being careful not to go too high, because otherwise I'll glue that bit shut. Oh, I'm so hungry. I might have to go down and eat something. I might have to pause the video, have a nibble, and come back. Oh, and I forgot that this one is going to be this way, so I need to glue down this bit here as well. I should have done that before, before I closed it. And then I'm going to trim the top. I'll just put the glue there. Make sure it's closed. And then this one is going to open there, but I'll do that afterwards. And that is my pocket. That's going to be the flip. Okay, got it. Okay, so what's next? Where's my other one here? Let's keep them near each other. I think I'll work on one at a time because otherwise I will confuse um, how they're going. Now I have to decide, do I want this to be, I think I want this to be a top, top opening at the top. So I'm going to glue it shut. I could wrap my paper around. I'll glue it and then I might wrap my paper around. I'm going to cut an opening at the top. Okay, so let's work on this one first. Right. Let's see what scraps I've got flying around to satisfy there. I could use this. That could go there. And just wrap around the back. Let's do that. Lock it in. Glorious weather outside. We'll have to go for a walk afterwards. What am I doing? Sometimes you have to check yourself, don't you, that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, what you had planned to do. Now that just so happened to be almost the perfect height for that bit there. I have a bit of... Um, I had some little bits of, what about a little piece of this? I think I'll put that across there, like so. Here we have to use our little itty bitty bits to cover this up. And then something up here, maybe a piece of blue. I might just grab my ruler. Now what I can do here is just glue that on and then um, trim it down at the top. Okay, so I've got that there, and I'm going to put a piece here. What 
piece am I going to put? Oh, that fits. And I like the look of that, actually. I might keep that bit up there. Will I keep that bit up, that bit there? No, I like this bit down here. So, again, I am going to glue that. I'm just going to trim a little bit off. Okay. I'm always happy to use my bits that have maybe been, I've had around for a while, but I haven't used them for whatever purpose. Maybe I didn't find what I wanted to use it for. And so, yeah, it makes me happy to use them. That sticky bit in the garbage. Now, this would go in the journal as a tuck. So you don't really need to decorate the back. I just want to make sure that's all glued down properly. I don't want anything catching when I'm slipping it, sliding it into the tuck. I'm going to put something here. Um, I quite like that. I think I'm going to glue that on there. I feel like it needs just a little bit of something... Maybe a little bit of this blue just to separate it from the back, the background. So I'm almost covering up that um, check, but it doesn't matter. I might just see where do I want to put this. I'll put, I think I would be more inclined to put it down here like that. And it's mostly going to be covered. It just separates the flower from the background. I'm putting even the, with the script. I think it's upside down, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be covered. And I like that it goes just over the window there a little bit. I can slide it over a bit and trim. I like that. And see, I've decorated that without even thinking about the other bit yet, the flippy bit. So we've got this bit here. And I'm going to open that at the top. And that's going to go on there. So let's see. We'll have some of this. Can't tell. Oh, that way. That's the way it goes. So I'm going to have this piece here down here. I'll just trim this. I could actually... Oh, no, that's white anyway. I'm not going to wrap that around. Get all that off my scissors, I can't see. I'm going to put that there. I think, yes. And we might have some... Might glue that on there. Let's see. We could wrap that one around. Why don't we wrap that around? I'd only get one made. They take a bit of time. They're not like, you know, things to do in a flash. Let's get that out of the way. I'm going to wrap it around on both ends. Just slide that up. I already need to trim that open, so I'm trimming a bit of the envelope too so that it opens because it was closed. There we go. And I'm going to glue this in place and then we'll add some more. Oh my goodness, my tummy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's very noisy. This lovely piece, put that piece there. I think I'll put it there. It might disappear because I do have to put my hinge on as well. It needs to hinge. Although I could hinge with washi tape. Cover that bit up there. 
Okay, and then we're going to have put this piece. Just it's like it's just like putting patches on, isn't it? trying to cover up these bits that I've let no I don't want that that I've left out I've got a piece of folded and oh, no, I don't think I'm going to hinge with that okay well, we have to decorate this so put that there it's going to hinge I need to cover up that little faux pas there piece of um, tea dyed paper there we go okay and I wonder I am thinking you grow and die I'm thinking that if I, what if I let me just cut this side out of the butterfly This butterfly is too big, obviously, but I was wondering what would happen if I were to just put part of the butterfly on. Do we like that? No, no, more butterfly. Put it on like that. But trim that other bit off. Yeah, I like that idea. Oh, I didn't cut that little bit. <laughs> I really like that. Now this side, I'm thinking I might just put something that you could write on. I've got a piece of tea dyed paper here. Why don't we use that? Let's just measure it. Now, because I'm so hungry, I think I'm going to have to end my video. And I'll put my my other one in the to-do basket. And I'll do it when I, when I approach my to-do basket. Because I think I need to go and eat something. I might faint. One would be a bit more abundant than, than not. Did I cut my other marking off? No, there it is. Okay. It wasn't abundant enough, but I can patch it. So distracting the stomach is so distracting to me I know it, you probably can't hear it but it's distracting me why do I get all blobs of glue all the time now I'm going to have all of it slide it all the way up and I've got a little strip down there that I need to sort out 
and I can slide it across there a little bit. Okay, trim off the excess here. And I'm going to have a little bit of something going across there. I didn't trim that off, did I? Oh, it's going. Oh. We could have a little piece of this. Oh, dearie me. I think I put it on upside down again. Let's blame it on the hungry tummy. Stomach, put a sock in it. Okay. Oh, I do love this. I need to remember this. Do you love it when you make things and you think, oh my gosh, I've got to remember that. Now this needs to hinge on here. It's all very thick. I love the colours together. I think I might put it up sort of centred a little bit. And I'm going to find what washi will I use. Or I could use, I could use some, this minute I had some folded here, a piece of tea dyed paper. Tea dyed paper is probably a bit boring. Although it blends in. Yeah, maybe the tea dyed paper. So I need to just put that on there and trim it. That's why I wasn't worried about the, the white. Okay, I'm going to trim this down very slightly because I don't want to cover my butterfly. Oh, I could have, you know what, it's a better idea maybe is to hinge it first and then put your decoration on. That could that could be a better better solution. And that because then you cover over the hinge and it's extra strong. Master, how will I remember that? And this, I'm going to wrap it around. So let's see here. I do like that. And then I'm going to put a little something in there and I might put this washi's nice and strong and it's wide. Yep, I'm only getting one done. I have to go and eat something, guys. I'm sorry. I'll finish off the other one in the to-do basket. I'll put a little um, paper clip on it. What is it? What is it? Oh, poor spider. And the last thing we need to do is put a a tab on it. Oh, and we need to do one more thing. There's two more things. We need to do this so we know that it's a tuck. It's a pocket. And we need to do this here. This is also a pocket. Oh, do I need them to match? No. Put that there. They're not matching, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to put a tab on this. And I'm wondering, do I want to wear... I think I might like this one. I'm going to do this tab. We haven't used this tab for a while. And I think I'm going to stick with the blue. I might use this one. So I need to just snip these off. Fold them in half. I'm use a different blue. Okay, and now what you do with this took me forever to... I learnt this from Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. I was just like, I'm such a ding -a If I can get it in there. Fold it in half. I was cutting out two and then, and then sticking them together. You just leave that slightly under there. So there's a gap and it stays attached. It was such a revelation to me. <laughs>
Okay, now do I want to put it down there? I think I want to put it down there. Here we go. There's my take on Wendy's um, flip. We used one envelope and I've got a flip and then that would glue in your journal. You can either glue it flat and just have two pockets or you can glue it on three sides and have a top tuck or you can glue it on two sides and have a side tuck and it flips out. I think it's a nice thing to put just inside the um, journal cover as well. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's all happening. I've got to go and eat something. All right, so I've got this one. This one's going the other way. Um, this one is going to go that way and um, and it will be a top tuck again and a top tuck here. I need, But I need to finish that one. So I'll do that in another video, um, maybe when we do a random make sort of thing. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. That's my take on Wendy's flip envelope pockets. Flip envelope pockets. I really like the colours. There we go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.